I am great. How are you? Very good. Thank you so much. So this is the second year for Dark Matter, right? So, so you know, in, in the past one year, how have you seen the security market evolving? What continues to change? A lot of the changes have to do with the continued evolution of smart cities, IoT. We continue to see enterprises move to the cloud, a continued focus on the threat landscape evolving, a greater concentration of cyber criminal groups attacking uh, whether it's government agencies, the banks, uh, oil and gas, and so on. Okay, so you know, if, if you see the theme of Dysec this year, it's like security for a smart, connected future, right? Mm. So, so from a dark matter point of view, what what would be the requirements of a smart and connected future, and, and how, how secure do we have to be? I think one of the things to start with is really understanding the vulnerabilities in the uh, organization and how those relate to other organizations. You know, as we think about IoT, which is a big part of smart organizations, a lot of these devices that are implemented in IoT unfortunately come with 1990s era vulnerabilities. So a lot of it has to do with testing and validation. Today, we announced in our keynote uh, the Zenith Labs, a laboratory that's dedicated to deep testing of hardware and software vulnerabilities. So organizations that are implementing IoT or in smart cities, for example, really need to do this kind of testing. Uh, another thing really has to do with looking at how authentication occurs. Do you know these devices and the people and organizations behind them? Well, I think there's been a lot of good initiatives. For example, in Dubai, uh, we're seeing a lot of great initiatives around the resilience, around the idea that there are dependencies among the police, oil and gas, for example, the banking systems. And in our booth, for example, we have this resilience model where we're showing those interdependencies. But it's critical for organizations to both assess themselves and their readiness, and then to work together to understand that the, they're codependent on one another. If one organization goes down, it may affect the others adversely. Well, I think one of the key do's is really to look closely at your most critical systems and making sure you understand those vulnerabilities. So deep testing of systems, deep validations of both the vendors you're working with and your internal processes. Many organizations don't have those skills, so they need to get help to do it. Uh, one of the big don'ts, honestly, is uh, making your users aware of what's going on and, and telling your users don't just open emails and, and don't click on links they don't understand. We've seen these recent uh, wanna cry ransomware problems. We've seen other types of problems. And a lot of them has to do with uh, explaining to users don't uh, do things that you don't understand and, and, and getting better user awareness. Thank you. Thank you so much, Andy. Thank you for your time. I appreciate it.